Hey guys, it's Stephanie. We are gonna do shoulders and tries today and I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna do all these exercises standing or on the floor, but I'm gonna use the bench for purposes of videoing just so that I can stay on the same plane and it'll be easier to see. So you'll need two dumbbells and you're gonna need a variety of weights because triceps are harder to go as heavy as shoulders, obviously. Um, it's a smaller muscle, but no less important. Okay. So standing, we're gonna start with the alternate shoulder press. So you want your arms at shoulder height, like field goals. And you're gonna do one up, one down. I'm sorry, the other up, both together. Okay, that's one. So your second rep. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna get heavy. You can sit if you feel like your form is lacking. If you start arching your back when you're doing this, which I've done when I'm too heavy, then you need to sit. Okay, and you can grab a chair, you can sit on your step, just pull your abs in, and you'll do the same thing. One, one, one rep, two, two, two rep. Okay, and by doing that, we're isolating our shoulders. These are eight pounds, and I feel that, you know. So, our second move is going to be the uh, isolated tricep kickback. So, again, maybe use a chair or you have a sofa nearby. You want one leg straight back, the arm that is going to do the kickback, that leg goes back forward and lean. And you want your arm up high and you're just going to do a kickback. Okay. We're going to do 10 completely on that side before we switch to the other. And then again, my left arm is going to go back. My left leg is going back. Flat back. You want the arm going high. Okay. So we'll do 10 of each. All right, we're gonna do three sets of that before we move on to the next block. So every time you see a bolded line, that means that is your set. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is upright row. So grab your two weights, this is gonna be standing. And now when you do these, you want your elbows higher than your wrist. So, like that. Okay, three sets of 10 with those. And then we're gonna move into our isolated single side pressure. Okay, so can you see me? Okay, so you'll be on the floor again, and you're just gonna go across and up. So we're going across with our hands. At the end, if it starts getting too heavy, you can also just put your arm right here, just give a little assistance. Okay, so you're gonna do, and then make sure your back doesn't arch like mine is. So suck it in, and there it goes. You'll feel it. So we're gonna do 10 on each side, and finish with standing. If you need to sit, you can. You burn more calories standing. I'd rather you do that. But if you feel like your form is giving, first drop weight. If it's still giving and you've gone down in weight, sit down. Okay. So now we're going to do the Y raise and you're going out. Straight arms. I love this exercise. You kind of feel everything. Okay. So we're going to do 10 of those. There are three exercises in this block. You'll do that three times and then move on. All right. The next one. Arnold Arnold. That is such a tongue twister for me. Arnold shoulder press. Okay, so arms up and then you're gonna twist as you raise and down. Twist, down. Do not arch your back. If you need to sit, it'll look like this. Okay, you're going to, all the way down to your shoulders. All the way down so that your weights are below your chin. Okay? And then you're gonna go back to the floor. So you'll notice I have a floor and a standing together. So you're not on the floor too long because that's when your heart rate drops. Okay, so when you're on the floor, make sure your back's flat. If you need to put your knees up, it helps me sometimes just get that position correct. Okay, and then you're gonna have your weight arms by your side and you're just going up. So depending how big your weights are, sometimes I have to go straight out if I'm using my bed flex because they can't get that close together, but you'll feel it in your triceps. Great burn. Okay, three sets of 10 with that and repeat. Okay, and then our last set for triceps, we're gonna do tricep push-ups. You can do these on your knees or on your feet. You just don't wanna sacrifice form, guys. You don't wanna dip and you don't wanna arch. You wanna be as flat as possible, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate them on my knees. My back is flat, it just have curvature at the top. So you'll go down and then you want to go up. Okay? These are soft, slow, 
and you don't have to be rapid. We're going to do 15 sets of those. So in this, anytime you see push-ups or, push or supermans, it'll be 15 reps. Okay? And then our last one will be full pressures. And we'll be done with triceps and shoulders for the day. Okay. Again, you can put your feet up if you need to. Skull crusher. Sorry, we're going to do one weight. Hold on to it both ends. And you're going to go right up to your forehead. So you want your elbows in. You don't want to be out like this. Elbows in as close as you can. Okay? And 10 reps of that. Make sure you pull your abs. Push your back to the floor. Okay? And that, you guys, is tricep day. And remember, it's minimal rest because we're putting two exercises together. So while we have the Arnold's shoulder press, we're following that with the tricep press. So we're working our shoulders and our triceps. So it's two different muscle groups. You can do back to back a lot faster. So keep your heart rate up and keep going. That's why we'll do floor, stand, floor, stand. Okay, have a good day.